What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. I am gonna be showing you the Quantum ISD 20 to 21 bus fleet. I know a lot of people always ask me to do these um, and I never end up doing them. Um, <laughs> so I figured why not knock it out right now? And uh, yeah, so as you're doing this, we're having our very first day, or, or as you're watching this, as this video comes out, rather, uh, we're having our very first day of routes, so be on the lookout for some uh, QISD videos returning to the channel uh, for the fourth year. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you all 32 buses in the fleet uh, this year. This is just the current version, you know, things can change here and there, um, but this is the initial fleet that we're sticking with. And we're going to find out how everything works. Um, so a couple notes about this. Uh, our, our biggest complaint from drivers has always been that there's been no variety or a lack of variety. And I think that just by looking at the screen now, you can already see that there's a lot more variety than we've had in years past. And we're really, really excited to introduce a lot of new stuff to QISD um, this year. The other thing, too, um, that kind of ties in with that is the spec. And you're going to notice uh, all these buses are just differently specced. And, uh, yeah, we're based out of Maryland this year. Um, I'm personally excited because I grew up as a kid there. Um, so especially some of the older stuff that you're going to see is a lot of stuff that I'm really familiar with. Um, and it brings back memories for me. So that's nice. Uh Finally, I, I spawned 32 buses. I tried to do it on, on our new map for this year, but the FPS was just not having it. So um, I figured I'm just going to go on uh, simple terrain and do it. So, okay. Anyways, let's just, let's dive into it. So starting off with bus 2201. And for reference, the first two numbers of the bus are going to be the year and the second two um are going to be, or the last two, are going to be the actual bus number. So 2201 is a 2022 ICCE. Um, Maryland specs allow for a lot of a lot of variety, and you're going to notice that throughout the, the fleet, and a lot of customization. They have a very, um, I don't want to say vague, because there are certain state specs uh, in Maryland, but... It, it's pretty it's pretty open so uh this is just one example of one that we we uh went all out with so chrome grill uh streamer tinted windows black window posts um dual stop signs all leds and yeah now the other thing too i know a lot of people might if you're familiar with maryland spec uh, maryland spec actually requires that you have the uh, warning light controls on the right hand side of the driver we didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary to put that in any of these buses so we didn't so just for reference so um yeah so that is bus 2201 similarly specced is uh 2002 2020 ce again they're they're pretty much the same thing these buses also have AC on the inside, as you can see right there. Dual stop signs. And, uh, yeah. 1703. Again, another pretty similarly specced bus. Um, this bus is a little different because it does have a, uh, a yellow grill compared to the two chrome grills. Uh, but again, dual stop signs, streamer, black window posts, and all that. Um, coming over here, we have bus 1504, which is a 2015 CE. Again, just pretty much similar to 1703. And, uh, yeah. So, that is 1703. Finally, getting to a little bit of variety, we have 9505. Um which is a 1995 Thomas ER. And this is one that really brings back memories. Um, while I never rode an ER, um, I do remember seeing a lot of them when I was growing up there. So um, 9505, it's the first yellow roof 
out of the fleet so far. Um, yeah, this is an all incandescent bus. Uh, it has a Cat 3216 side E-door. Um, there are a couple bugs here and there. Obviously, this one has a, a white stop sign, so, you know, you'll see some other bugs throughout the fleet, but that's just one of them, so. Um, right next to it, we have 1906, a 2019 uh, Bluebird All-American T3FE. This one's really nice. Uh, we, had, we worked with Will... Um, and he was able to, to make us a couple things, including um, allowing us to use his T3, which has under storage on both sides. This is all LED. Uh, this is a beautiful bus, in my opinion. So, um, all LED. All the T3s do have um, single stop signs. I would have liked to seen dual, but that's okay. Again, variety. Um, and they have this style stop sign where it's uh where it flashes the word stop and you can uh oh no i guess no under storage on this side i guess i'm thinking of a different bus but um yeah and then no no crossing gate up front i think all the other ones did have it yeah so that is 1906 right next to this again a little more variety this is um brandon's icre we we kept joking with him um if you can finish your icre we'll use it next year and he did, so uh, we, we held up our end of the bargain. And uh, yeah, so this is 0407, it's a 2004 ICRE. Um, the international logo is wrong, it should be an IC logo technically, but um, you know, no big deal. So uh, we have a yellow roof. All right, so 0407 has a T444E, and this one has um, 1906 has a Cummins uh, 6.7. Cummins ISB 6.7, uh, 0407, all incandescent aero turn signals, and uh, yeah, dual stop signs over on this side, so pretty nice bus. Here we go, we got Volks buses this year as well, uh, this is the first of a handful, 0208, 2002, Thomas 3800, pretty much the base Volk model, all incandescent, um, white roof and uh yeah so pretty basic bus but yeah this one has a dt466 as does 9909 another dt466 and this one has a uh a yellow roof so uh, again just lots of variety as you can see uh difference in the mirrors uh difference in just the overall specs we really really tried to to provide a lot of variety this year so 9909 we have arrow turn signals on this one which i personally like that um that style better with the arrow turn signals uh single stop sign you can see a little bit of lag but um another thing we also have air horns up top so that's fun and you'll see that on a couple other buses as well so uh last bus in this row is 1610 this is a 2016 bluebird all-american uh, all-american bluebird vision uh, and you can see up here the green bluebird logo means that this is a propane powered bus so uh, there are a couple propane buses in the fleet this one being the first one uh, so 1610 we have under storage on this side all led um let's see 1610 has a, a Ford 6.8 liter V10 engine. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, we have the first C2 of the fleet. Unfortunately, we don't have as many C2s uh, this year, but, you know, that's okay. We can, can change stuff around if necessary. But this is 0611, a 2006 Thomas Safety Liner C2. Uh, it has a Mercedes MB900 in it, so... I believe this bus is all incandescent. We have the uh, black grill up here, which I think looks fantastic. Uh, dual stop signs. Uh, yeah. Next to that, we have the first of a couple um, yellow roofed second gen CEs 0512. So we have a streamer on it. We have tinted windows. 
yellow window posts. So, yeah, 0512, all LED. Uh, and I should also mention, some of these buses, um, just because I'm saying all LED, some of them have strobing LED and some of them have non-strobing LED. I'm not sure which have which off the top of my mind. Um, so, yeah, I guess y'all will just have to find out in the videos. So, 0512 has a DT-466E in it. We have dual stop signs on this bus. And, uh, yeah. Next, we have bus 2213, which is a fantastic-looking um, C2. 2022, we have the new LED headlights on there. Uh, we have lots of chroma all over. We have a, um, a white roof. I believe this is all LED as well. I think these are strobing LED, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and this has a Cummins ISB 6.7. So, yeah. Then we have 0514, the second of the yellow roof first gen CEs. Again, all, um, all LED dual stop sign streamers. And, uh, yeah. Another really good looking bus. Um, this is the first diesel vision in the fleet. Uh, 2215, or rather out of the lineup. Um, so 2215, it's a uh, 2022 Bluebird Vision that uses diesel, all LED lights on the um, on the exterior. A single stop sign on this bus. And yeah. Next to it, we have the first um, Thomas Freightliner FS65 ever in Quantum ISD, if I recall correctly, uh, but 0016, it's a 2000 um, Thomas Freightliner FS65 handy. So Will was able to, uh, again, work with us and provide this for us. Um, so this bus, I believe, is all incandescent. Let's see. We have a wheelchair lift in the back, um, so it's a full-sized lift bus. All incandescent, and these are the lag machines so far from what I have found so these are the ones that will cause a little bit of lag but uh, single stop sign and uh, yeah last bus in the row is bus 1917 it's a 2019 bluebird vision you can see that there's actually a blue bluebird up there which means that it is a gas powered bus Sorry, I had to take a drink there for a second. Um, but yeah, all LEDs, white roof, like I said, the first, and I think it's the only gas-powered bus in the fleet, gas-powered vision in the fleet. So, single stop sign, so. Yeah, that is 1917. Next, we have 0218. So 0218 has a CAT 3126 in it. Uh, pretty similar to 0016. Uh, the only difference is the white roof. So, But as you can see, pretty much the exact same thing. So, yeah. Taking a look at 1319. This is a 2013 ICRE, another one of Brandon's. Um, it has a Max Force DT in it, and I personally really like the styling on this bus. We have, uh, of course, a streamer, black window post, tinted windows, which I, I've said it once, I'll say it again, that belongs on all IC products. So, um, all LEDs, dual stop signs, side E door, and, uh, yeah, so that's 0319. Next to it is 0720. It's a 07 ICRE with a DT-466E in it. So, dual stop signs, all LED. Yeah, so. Next to that is the last ER in the fleet. 9821-1998 Thomas MVP ER. This one has a white roof. A single stop sign, all incandescent. And, uh, yeah, so that is 9821. Let's see, right next to that is bus 1722. It's a 2017 Thomas Safety Liner C2. 
Uh, this bus has a Cummins ISB 6.7. It is all LED. Let's see. Dual stop signs. A little bit of chrome here. And uh, yeah, so I like the look of that one. We have two more T3 FEs. This one is 1423. This again has a 6.7 in it. Um, all, all LEDs. Uh, under storage on this side, which is a nice option to have. And uh, single stop sign again, the one that stops or that flashes the word stop. Uh, we have 20, or we have 1624 at 2016 All American T3 FE. Again, with a 6.7 under storage on that bus. And uh, yeah, so that one looks pretty nice too. Last one with a 6.7 for a minute is bus 16 or 11.25. I'm looking at the wrong bus. Um, so 11.25 has a 6.7 in it. This bus is also handy. So we have a full-sized handy C2. So and, uh, yeah. 1826 right next to it. This has a Cummins L9 engine in it. Uh, 2018 ICR, pretty similarly specced to, uh, what is this one, 1319. Um, yeah, so. Yep. Alright, 1727. This has a Ford uh, 6.8 liter V10 engine because it is powered by propane. Uh, another interesting note about this bus, you can see that it is a wheelchair lift bus. It has a wheelchair lift in the front. Again, we wanted to add a little variety, not keep them all on the back. Uh, you know, there are a couple up front, so that's exactly what we did here. So, um, single stop sign on this bus, all LEDs, and yeah. You can see 2028 over here is definitely the odd bus out. Is it, it is the only shorty in the fleet. This one has a 6.7 in it, um, all LED, and uh, yeah, this bus is uh, certainly an interesting one to drive. So, all right, coming down to the last couple of buses we are looking at, 1229. Uh, this one has a Maxworth DT in it. This also has a handy lift in the back. So, 1229 also has um, all LEDs. A white roof and dual stop signs so yeah all right next bus 0530 this is the last yellow roof ce in the fleet uh this has a max force 7 in it uh, yellow roof again another handy bus and uh yeah all right taking a look at 9931 this bus has a, um, a DT-466 in it, uh, DT-466E in it, 9931-1999, um, Thomas 3800, made by Volk. And, uh, yeah, this one also has a air horn. Oh, nope, wrong bus, but, yeah. Oh, wait, there it is. I'm just going crazy, apparently. Okay, last bus on the fleet, bus 9932. This is, again, another handy bus with a wheelchair lift in the front. We just thought this one would be cool. So, uh, this bus also has a DT 466E in it. Um, another 1999. And, uh, yeah. So, all right. I'll hop in a couple of these buses just so we can see the interior of these buses. Um, you can see the thing is flashing, but that's obviously not supposed to be doing that. Um, all of the buses, I think all of the buses, I think there were a couple that didn't, but um, have those Synovia tablets in them. So, and this is what all the CEs look like. So we're going to hop over into an ER now, take a look at the interior of this. All right. There we go. There's our tablet, or the older style tablet. And, uh, yeah. So, there's that. Alright, let's take a look at a T3. Coming on the inside, 
Will did a really good job on on this T3, and you might have seen it in some other videos. Um, I think one other company is using it, but yeah, this looks this turned out really really nice. So yeah, all right, we'll take a look at 0407. All these RE interiors are the same, so nothing too much in here. Yeah. All right. What are we missing? Uh, Thirty-eight hundred. Okay. Just again a basic Volk interior. Um, I think a couple buses have the tablets in there. So uh, let's see if I can remember which ones have them, or maybe those haven't been updated yet. Um, we have not looked at a Vision interior yet. So there's the interior of the Vision. There's that. We have a uh, C2. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then I think the last one we're missing is a FS65 right there. So, yeah. There's the there's the lift back there. All right, let me see. I think one of these has the yep. There's the tablet right there. So yeah, this is the Quantum ISD fleet. Our content team has put in countless hours um, making sure that all of this year's content is you know high quality. Make sure it looks good, and um, they really did a fantastic job. Each and every one of them. Um, and their work is very much appreciated. So, um, if there is a specific bus you want me to drive in a video, let me know. I can, I can make it work out. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like how all of these turned out. Um, they really do look nice. And, uh, again, this, this fleet could change, but for right now, this is the fleet that we are sticking with. So... I'm interested to see what it will turn out to be. Okay, if you're watching this video when it comes out, be on the lookout for Quantum ISD videos. Those are coming back, and those are going to be great, because they always are. So, all right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, feedback, let me know in the comments below. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below. It's magical red button that says you are not subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment above this video, below it, to the left or to the right. I don't know where they put it down here they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up. Or our fleet's just going to disappear for no reason. And make sure you also show this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy in a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So, yeah guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.